Hello and welcome back from IDS 2019. Right next to me is Mark. Mark, why don't you introduce yourself? Sure, hello. I'm, I'm Mark Matamis. I'm the National Sales Director for Ray America, one of the many branches of Ray Company. Uh, Ray Company is a, a, a manufacturing company for extra oral imaging devices. Uh, and we're here to launch our new RayScan 5-in-1 uh, RayScan Studio, as well as our new 3D printing capabilities, uh, incorporated with our digital oral design and A A1 restoration design softwares. I'm excited to show you each one of them, and uh, I hope you're having a great show at the IDS Cologne. Guten Morgen. Thank you. So, why don't we go inside? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for inviting me. Thanks for having me. So, now that we're here, I would yes. like to know a little bit more about your company. Sure. Uh, Ray is a company that's formerly subsidiary of Samsung mm -hmm. from South Korea. Oh, it uh, is. We are now currently in 70 countries outside uh, Germany. I represent the United States. I'm the director of sales. And we're here to exhibit all of our equipment. We are a uh, extra oral imaging uh, manufacturer, and we have 2D and 3D images to share. Nice. So I've walked around uh, this exhibition, this trade fair, and I've yeah. seen many companies who are also selling. Yes. It. What makes your company so special in comprehension to them? Absolutely. Well, first of all, we have a lot of innovative new products. We don't just focus on just taking pictures. We'd like to think that after we take the picture or take the x-ray, we can uh, help the clinician and the patient with the actual uh, clinical evaluation. So we provide uh, very uh, intuitive software to go with it. And we also do provide a full solution. So we're worried about the digital workflow of how this data is captured and how we're able to produce the actual final product as far as designing somebody's smile and creating uh, perfect looking teeth for the patients. Okay, I hope I have perfect looking teeth. You don't uh, need any help. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'd like to know a little bit more about you and the sure. company in general. So, it, what is the value of the company or what are the values of the company? Well, I think the, the company has a really good outlook on uh, the feature, a lot of innovation. We come up with brand new products almost every year. And I work with a similar company for 15 years. I've been in industry selling the same similar product. But for the first time in my career, Ray has been the one that's introduced me to all the possibilities in the future. In a very short time, we've come up with so many new innovative products. And I can't wait to show you all the other features that we've been able to implement in a very short period of time. So you're proud of the product? Absolutely, right? absolutely. So does Ray also fit your personal values? Yes, absolutely. Well, I think everybody needs to be open-minded. Uh, technology is fast-growing. We need to also be able to adjust to the way technology grows. That's amazing, yes. And what about you personally? Is work-life balance possible in such a huge... Oh, well, absolutely. Like I said, because of technology, uh, I don't necessarily have to meet all my customers, or my, my end users face-to-face. -face. I do travel the whole United States on trade shows. I'm now here in Cologne, Germany, wow. IDS 2019. Yes. Very excited. So my first time here in Germany. But uh, as far as yes, yes, how yes, do you like Germany? I love it. I, I wish the weather was better, but I love the people, the culture, the food. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying my time. Um, but I do like the fact that with our technology, we can communicate to the doctors, the end users, and convey our message through uh, electronically, digitally, and not have to necessarily do a face to face. And I think uh, we just have the most innovative product in the market. Spread are you in the world? Are you even in India? We are in 70 countries outside of Germany, so we are definitely in India. Oh, okay. We have some dealers, one of the largest dealers in India is one of our uh, dealers. Uh, uh, we, are in, we are in the Middle East as well, we're of course in Asia, we're in North America. I mean, right here at uh, Ray Booth, we are 
we have invited all of our representatives around the world. So pick a continent and we have a yeah. representative that can tell you how many deals we have. Yeah, it's 70 and growing. Yes, so. 70 and growing. Wow, that's a lot. That's yes, ma'am. And you're grow, still growing. What are your future plans? What are your goals now when you're still growing? Do you have a vision for the next five years? I, I, absolutely. I think that the key to our success is we do grow quite a bit every year. Right now we are looking to implement new products and just be, being able to send the same message to many different regions, a different language and different uh, communication skills. But we, we hired the best people with best experiences to bring that uh, into the market. What do you say to the, to the Indian market in general? Uh, right now I've actually met a, a couple of dealers. Uh, one of the largest dealers in India I believe is Ch uh, Chessa. Ah, I've yeah, had the opportunity to yeah, meet with them there. yesterday. They have a really large booth here yeah. at IDS Cologne. And we actually introduced a prospective customer to them. I believe they bought a machine yesterday. So wow. very excited. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it, it's a lot easier doing my job knowing that we have good professional partners everywhere around the world, especially in India. It's a huge population. I'm very happy to have their, uh, their support. What do you say to the last days here at this uh, show? Well, it's it's a bittersweet. I mean, it's been such an exciting uh, uh, show. Too bad today's the last day, and it would be nice to meet a lot more interesting people Ed, like yourself. But uh, we look forward to the next uh, IDS meeting yeah. in Cologne. Okay. Cool. So I have one last question before you showing me the product. Sure. Is that fine? Um, what is the message you would like to tell young professionals and or everybody else out yes. there? If you have something, sure. please tell it to the camera. Well, I, I, I've been in the dental industry uh, for 15 years now, and I encourage anybody who's looking for a career, if you want to start in the dental industry, I mean, we have a lot of uh, positions open at uh, Ray, uh, Ray Company. Um, but just being in the dental market is very exciting. A lot of new technology is happening. And it's not just about teeth. And you know, now with cosmetics, with, uh, with the new digital uh, solutions, very exciting to be part of this industry. Thank you very Thank you so much. much. Yes, my name is Ernest Prinson, and this is Mark Tamas. And we are representatives here at Ray. And so one of the technologies we want to talk about today is our new studio, CBCT and facial overlay. And this is the machine here, right behind us. And there's a couple of unique features that we want to discuss. One of them is our remote control feature. And this is a remote control that comes with the machine. We can actually position, control, and adjust different things in the machine. One of them, for example, is the blue light technology. We're the only company in the world that has this. And Mark, do you want to, do you want to share sure. that? Well, just to explain the blue light, basically uh, our machine comes with a free field of view. And the free field of view means that we can shoot infinite amount of field of view. We give the doctor the remote and the ability to shoot any size field of view. Starting from a large field, a 10 by 16, you can control it all the way down to a 4 by 3. As you can see here on this patient, you should be able to see a blue light on the patient's face. And with that remote control, we can adjust as little. As you can see, we can reduce the height. We can also reduce the width, so we can focus in on a particular anatomy of the patient without having to over-radiate the patient. Okay? Can you make it spin? Okay, and uh, give me one second. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna rotate 360 degrees around the patient that's going to spin now and as soon as it does we want to show you the final outcome which is pretty cool talk about the camera so now if we can zoom in after this is captured we're going to go right to the software here and this is this is what would happen after we would have the overlay over the CT DICOM so I can pull that back a little bit and you can start to see what that looks like there. So what we're able to do is we're able to take the DICOM of the scan, the CBCT scan. We could take the SDL file from a traditional impression because we can scan the impression material. And now we're also doing a video overlay of the patient's face. The unit is also built with a camera as it rotates around the patient's head 
it creates an OBJ file. So it's a combination of DICOM, STL, and OBJ files combined into one software by R2Gate Studio. Just wanted to introduce you to one of our hottest features of our Rayscan Studio is the ability to be able to choose any field of view in the market. You're not limited with your with your choice. We give the, the clinician the opportunity to choose whatever size uh, field of view they want. With the use of our remote control or our control panel, we can increase the field of view. You can, you can see it on the patient's face that I can go from a really small field of view and you can actually see it on the patient's anatomy where the radiation is going to be before you press the trigger. So I can go from a, a, a large field of view for orthodontic or oral surgery procedure, or I can go as, 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 as small as I want if I wanted to go to an endodontic procedure. Total control from the doctor's point of view, and you're also not having to over-radiate the patient unnecessarily. Okay. So in our finished software, we're able to incorporate all three files together. You could use the the patient's x-ray with the, with the patient's intraoral scan, as well as the patient's face in order to use for articulation. We can use it for ceph tracing, treatment planning. And because of this data, we're able to produce a better diagnostic treatment. Uh, and I'm gonna follow, follow me and I'm gonna show you the rest of our software. It tells you how it uh, helps the clinician do the proper evaluation. If you can see behind me, we, we have uh, many different uh, modules of our software that we're looking to introduce in the market. The digital oral design allows us to design the patient's smile prior to the procedure. We can see the finish line before we start the procedure, how we want this patient to look based on their smile. It's hard to create a smile if you can't see the patient's face. And that's why we included the face scan module in our images to complete that process, okay? Besides that, if you're, if you're looking to restore uh, crowns or any other type of teeth, we, we are able to do that with an uh, AI restoration design. Standing, it stands for Artificial Intelligence Restoration Design. Artificial Intelligence uh, suggests that in order to uh, design a crown, the software will actually match this crown with a library of 10,000 uh, different crowns, automatically place it on the site, will actually adjust all the margins, adjust the occlusal surface, and in about 26 seconds, it'll completely uh, uh, complete that process of, of, of designing that crown, ready to print, without any involvement from the clinician. Artificial intelligence, that's the sign of technology. Thank you. Our implant surgery software allows us to do an implant placement. It also allows us to, uh, to create a surgical guide as you can see here, they're demonstrating some of the features of the software. You can place an implant using surgical guides. Again, with the superimposition of the patient's face, it's a lot easier to see how that, how that uh, implant will be placed in the patient's mouth. Not just looking at their x-ray, but can also look at the patient's emotions and see how, it, how that smile will be affected in the long run. Um, we can also use it for orthodontic analysis because we have a 20 by 20 field of view, we're able to take a cephalometric image of this patient, be able to do ceph tracing uh, or any other orthodontic analysis. Again, all designed to complete the perfect smile. Welcome to our 3D printer pavilion. This is the Raydent Studio. And the Raydent Studio is a system of 3D printing and it's one of the fastest printers in the market. And the way it works is it, it has a very small uh, uh, vat or tray so that it, it's designed specifically for uh, dental purposes. It's not designed to print toy airplanes or other printers out there. So they are biocompatible. Uh, the size of the trays is just appropriate for a single, complete, uh, full, full arch so that you can, you can print a lot faster because it's a smaller tray. It requires a lot less materials, and, and it has a higher accuracy. Okay. Yeah, all the resin material that we come up with with the Raydent Studio product line are water washable. This means that we do not require an alcohol bath in order to complete this design. You could wash it with water, easier cleanup. Okay. If you want to look closely, I just want to show you the variety of the resin materials that we're able to produce in different colors, different grades. Okay. Again, the secret to our 
success with the 3D printing is that it uses a smaller tray, so we, we won't need to use a gallon of resin in order to get a base coat. If I only wanted to print a small crown, or let's say provisionals, I don't need to use a whole lot of material. I could use a ketchup container, I like to call it, <laughs> and you could just squeeze the right amount of material without any waste. The other systems require you to, to dump uh, at least a gallon of, of resin material, and most of that material is not used, they just have to throw it away. It's a lot of wasteful. This is very efficient, and we have uh, many varieties of, of materials, resin materials for surgical guides. We can do uh, dental, digital models, dentures. Very new to our resin family, we're able to now print a uh, Raydent Clear, which is a, for uh, aligners. Surgical guides, of course, for casts, and temporary restorations. Okay, it's going to be our most. Uh, it's going to be our surprise for the end of the year. It's going to be our new uh, new printer that's designed to print permanent restoration. We can actually print actual permanent teeth, no longer temporary crowns. This is all possible because of the permanent restoration resin material that we've been able to come up with and test it. I do have some samples here of permanent restorations as, uh, that was printed by our 3D printer, the Raydent Studio um, printing system. As you can see, we don't just take the pictures anymore. We took the picture, we took the x-ray, we took the scan of the patient's face, we threw it in the digital software for the design, we, we designed the restoration, now we produce the restoration, not just from a temporary, but also in a permanent solution. So I'm very excited to, to see what's next with Ray. Come see us again in the next IDS Cologne meeting. I, to, I hope I'll be able to show you the most recent technology then. Thank you again, Dentist Channel Online. Thank you, Marta. Thanks for having me today.